Kind of a few different things going on in this song but i was going to try to break it down in a very simple way for a beginner um, and it's still kind of hard but let's go ahead and, and go for it if you could hit the like and subscribe button i'd appreciate it and the first chord is going to be an f sharp minor all right so i've got capo on fourth fret and I'm going to set index finger second fret of the low E, middle finger second fret of the D, ring finger second fret of the G. And you can kind of just even let everything ring open if you want on that. I was kind of muting out the A string with the bottom of my index finger. So that's going to be your first chord. So I want to show you all the chords and then I'll show you the strum pattern. I know that's kind of backwards, but with this song, I think it kind of makes sense. So we're going to have an F sharp minor, okay? Then you're going to let your index finger off for an A2. Okay, so you got F sharp minor. Then we're going to go to an E sus. So you set your index finger now, on, uh, middle finger, ring finger have not moved. They're just sitting there on that second fret of the D and the G. Uh, index finger jumps down now to second fret of the A. That gives you an E sus shape. All right, so we've got. Then we're gonna go back to our A2. going to go to a D, um, sort of a alter, just open sounding D. So all we do for that is let off middle finger. So now ring finger is the only finger left. It's on the second fret of the G. And the focus of this chord is the A, D, G, and the B string. So... Let's try to, I'll try to explain this strum pattern to you. So one of the things you're going to need in this strumming technique is you're going to need a good chuck. So what that means, when you drag your pick across the strings at the same time as having your the side of your hand down to mute the strings out. So you karate chops the strings and you rake your pick really quickly across the strings. And that's called a chuck. So you need that technique in any style of acoustic guitar playing. So that's something you want to be able to just hit out of nowhere. So say you're strumming a chord. You want to be able to just go from the chord. Uh, you want to be able to go from strumming the chord right into a chuck. Now, if you want to leave that out, you can. Um, you can just focus on just trying to get the rhythm right. Something like that. But anyway, here's what we got. Let's just work on the uh, progression through the chords. So we've got a down strum and a chuck, okay? Then we got the A2 chord. We got two down strums, a chuck, then an up strum. All right. Then we're going to go to our E sus, and we're going to go. We're going to go down, up, then the chuck. Okay. So down, up, chuck, down, down, uh, sorry, down, up, chuck, down, down, and then a chuck, then an up. <laughs> so we got some up chucks happening. That's an inside joke. So here's what we got. Okay. 
we go uh, from that E sus back to our A2. So. And to our D, our open altered D chord. All right, so here's what we got. start to gradually speed this up all right so that's pretty much that just that little tiny intro piece so here's what I think is happening for a basically like the rest of the song there's there's just this little riff that kind of comes in and out that goes that's what i think fits the best okay so that's just that f sharp minor chord we discussed then the A2 and then our altered D. So we're going. So down, down, up, down, down, up, down, up, down, down, up, down, down, up, down, up, down, down, up, down, down, up, down, up, down, up, down, down, up, down, up. So that's what I think is happening, and of course up to speed when you get it a little faster. That's what I think sounds the best. Um, what I think might be happening is this. kind of buried in the mix so that's what I think might actually be happening like when I listen I can tell there's two guitars layered but it kind of sounds like that like it's going from the F sharp to the E sus to the A2 to the D so that's what I think might be happening and it's just buried in the mix but when I play along with it and like say I was going to try to sing it or something, I think it's just better to play. I don't know. It just seemed like that was kind of more fitting to me when you actually strum along with the song. But if you're like really picking the mix apart, <laughs> I think this might be happening. <laughs> so it's really up to you what you want to try there um, the hardest part there is probably just going to be getting that strum pattern down down up down down up down up down down up down down up down up down down up down up so that's probably going to be the hardest part there but i just kind of heard that part kind of coming in and out on different parts of the the rest of the song so that should probably get you through this song so go ahead, hit the like and subscribe button if this video is helpful for you, and I'll see you on the next one.